All right, back at you one more time. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be installing a trailer wiring harness into the back of this Mitsubishi Outlander. So I will show you the process on how to do this. It's fairly simple. So you can see where I'm pointing right now on the vehicle, you can pretty much guess where the majority of the work's gonna be. It's gonna be in the back part of the trunk here. Um, very, very few tools are gonna be needed for this job, so. I bought this harness off of an auto wrecker. I got off at of www.car-part.com. This video is not sponsored by them. I'm not being paid by them. I just uh, like that site, so I share the information. So if you are going to buy this harness secondhand, you need to be aware of that extra piece there. For this model car, that is an extra part of the harness that goes under the hood. This connects to your battery. And then there is a, on the harness in the front, there is a plug that has one lead on it. And that is what you need to get the power to the back here. Okay, and the rest of the harness is right here, these two pieces. Okay, so a ground over here. This is your harness connector. This is the connector to the exterior part of the harness, the exterior part of the harness, and then the line to the actual trailer, which you can see here I'm gonna have to fix. This will be double-sided tape here that I'm gonna have to put on here. And that's pretty much all, that's pretty much the harness for you. So we're gonna get started right away. Start off by taking off this back cover here. You might find it easier to take your jack out. So in that case, just loosen your jack. Pull your jack out. You're gonna reach into your, with your hand into get at this pocket here. And just like that. And you'll see over here, there's that white harness that's taped in. That is your electrical harness connector for the uh, T connector. Move my third row seatbelt out of the way. Okay, so that's for this part. You know why I run this in here, like so. Okay, and I'm gonna take the electrical tape off of this and plug it in. Back. There's an M6 threaded hole. That is where you can put your ground wire into. There we go. Okay, so the harness is connected. I'm going to connect the ground wire in there. So there you can see it. There. Just put that in there with your... And there you can see, there's the bolt in there. Okay. All right, now you have two options available to you. You can either run it through the back here and then run, leave your cable in here and run it out to the back so that your cable is always protected from the elements unless you've got a trailer connected. Or what you can do is you can go and you'll see down in this cavity, where is that? Come on right there in the cavity is a rubber grommet that leads to the undercarriage of the vehicle. And you can run it through there and then, so that's how this one was run initially. Run it through there into the outside and then uh, to the back of the vehicle. So that'll be up to you how you want to run it but those are your two options. So there you can see how I've routed it and in behind the brackets of the jack and I'm going to coil the wire in that cavity and close it. That's the option I've chosen. So under the hood you need to find the module. The battery's in a really bad shape, holy smokes. So it is going to be near the front headlight in front of the battery somewhere and there it is. Right here it is.
right there. So we're going to unplug, where is that? Come on, focus. And we're going to unplug that, and that's going to be where the other module goes. All right, and this piece really isn't any harder than it looks. You just kind of plug those two in like this. There you go. And then there's your fuse. And this we're going to tighten onto the positive terminal of our battery. Okay, I wiped down my battery a little bit. You can see I've connected it here to the mains over there. Now I'm going to put the cover back on. Where are we here? We'll put the cover back on and then we're done. There you go. There. Alright, lastly we're going to just do a quick test with the voltmeter here. I got the lights on. So that should be this first one here. The brown. And we got 12 volts. I've already tested the turn signals, so we're good. So, the trailer hitch wiring is complete. If this video helped you, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and we'll see you next time, maybe.